There are a lot of different ways to control boost pressure and I'm going to show you one of the simplest. One of the cheapest, quickest and easiest ways to increase the boost pressure on your turbo is with a manual boost control or a bleed valve or whatever you want to call it. Today I'm going to show you how they work. The turbo I've got here has an internal wastegate which obviously works with boost pressure on the can here which pushes the spring and the diaphragm to move the wastegate flap open. Now that regulates boost pressure but of course this is where the manual bleed valve comes in. Boost pressure comes out of the turbo, goes into the bleed valve. Now the important thing to note here, most bleed valves will have a small restrictor hole on the inlet. Now the reason for that is you need to limit the amount of air that can flow through that hose because the turbocharger can refill the pressure in that hose quicker than the bleed valve can bleed it out. And that would give you a certain level of boost pressure which is dictated by the spring in the wastegate. Now if you were to modify the pressure getting to the wastegate actuator you can control the boost pressure. You obviously can't lower the boost because that is controlled by the wastegate spring but you can increase the boost pressure and of course that is what we want to do to get more power. So the idea of a bleed valve is to do exactly that. You are bleeding pressure out of this hose which reduces the amount of pressure the wastegate sees so effectively it will close the flap more and the boost pressure will go up. So all we need to do with a manual bleed valve is basically plug it straight into the hose to the wastegate from the boost pressure source through the bleed valve and into the wastegate actuator. Now because this turbo is obviously not going to make boost pressure so we have a compressor here that is going to artificially create some boost pressure for us. So boost pressure in there. Now first thing, this bleed valve is already closed. So when I apply the pressure, you're going to see the wastegate actuator arm opens the wastegate fully. But if we were to open up the bleed a little bit now, okay, now you can hear there's some pressure being bled out of there. It's not quite enough to start closing the actuator arm. But as we let a little bit more out, you can see that the wastegate actuator is now starting to close. So we can effectively control the position of the wastegate basically by how much air we're bleeding out through the bleed valve. Bleed valve fully closed, full pressure getting to the actuator and that is minimum boost. As we open it up, wastegate starts to close, boost pressure's going up. Now it's worth remembering that when the wastegate flap is open, that is low boost, when it's closed, that is high boost. That's because the wastegate flap is allowing a relief path for the exhaust back pressure in the turbine. So it's effectively bleeding out the exhaust so it doesn't do work on the turbine to spin up the turbo. Now this type of system is particularly popular on turbo diesel engines that run a traditional wastegate because they generally don't have any factory electronic boost control systems built into them. So with a lot of turbo diesel guys, they will run these things and usually increase the boost pressure a couple of PSI. But of course, with any boost pressure adjustment, you need to make sure that the engine is capable of handling the increase in power. Now that is a topic for another video, but for the time being, it's worth remembering, a bleed valve is a really quick and easy and of course, reliable way of increasing boost pressure.